The animation you just saw was made using the Lumion Animated Phasing effect. You can show the process of your design or show the construction with this powerful animation tool. You can apply different transition effects, show how new materials apply to your design, make parts of your building appear and disappear, and highlight what makes your project unique. Hi, I'm Nuno Silva and in today's video I'll show you the three steps you need to take to create the exact same animation that you saw in the beginning of the video. I'll leave a link in the description so you can download the same 3D model so you can follow along. So here I have my model for this room. As you can see here, I have this separate by layers. So I have each floorboard, actually each line of floorboards separate. So I have floor one, two, three, so all of this, so it's 18 boards that I have here, as you can see. We have here the floor, so it's a simple box for the floor. So then we have the walls. And after the walls, we have the window, we have the wall paint, it's also separate. So it's a very thin mesh that will just have the material for the paint. And then we have this uh, wood panel for the back of the bed, a curtain, and that's it. So this is all the base for our model, including the floor. And you need to export each element separately. So in every 3D model application, it will allow you to export in groups. So in my case, I will go here and I can export all these layers into separate files in, uh, in one go. But if you're using 3ds Max, you can also do that. Or even with SketchUp, you can export in groups. So I'm pretty sure that every software will allow you to do this. And when you do that, you need to import into Lumion. So which will take us to the step number two, which is positioning in Lumion. So I have here all the elements. I imported these elements one by one in Lumion. So I had to go here, import models and import first the walls, then the wall paint, then the window, all of these elements. Now you can see that I placed one by one and it's really a mess right now. So this, it's not correct at all. So one thing that we could do is to go here and on each of them, let's say that I want all of them at zero, zero. Then we go here to this wall. And again, I'm going here to zero. Uh, by the way, I'm doing this in the icon here on the bottom. You can type in, as you can see here, type in, and you can type the position that you want. So you can do this one by one, but if it's a lot of elements, it will take a lot of time to do this one by one. And I really like that Lumion has an option that you can simply just select all of them and with one click it's all in the same position so you can just hold control and like this selects all of them so hold control and left click to select all of them and then if you don't see these uh, tools here it's because this arrow is hidden so just click it here on the top and now you'll see here one item that says align positions so if i click it bam you see that immediately everything is in this correct position. So all the elements are correctly positioned. Actually, I'm just going to rotate here the sun so you can see better. Okay, so everything is correct. And to deselect all of them, you just press here this deselect all button. And now let's move to the first step, which is phasing effect. So here's my project. And I have all of these separate by layers here. And this layering of objects, it's useful for you to hide certain elements. So it, it's easier for us to see what we're doing with the animation. If we go here to movie, I have here a very basic animation. I have this uh, orthographic view, which basically the animation just goes from minus 45 to minus 35. So basically it just creates this very slight camera movement while all the elements are showing up uh, one by one. And just a quick note here, if you would like to make this isometric type of uh, art, I have a video for that. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. Moving on, we need to add effect called animated phasing. It's under animation. So animated phasing, we add it and now click edit. If you are familiar with the software like uh, Adobe Premiere, for example, uh, you will be familiar with this type of timeline and you will see that it's uh, quite easy to use this tool. You just need to click here objects to select which objects you want to animate. So you could select all of them like this, just hold control and select all of these objects. And if you select all of them, you can see that even the background is animating and 
this is not what we want to do, right? Because we want to animate each element separately. Even though, if you do want to create like this, Lumion has here this stagger effect, which basically it will randomize each element. So it will show up each element separately in a random way. So if we check now the animation, you see that it's trying to animate if you increase even the duration and this is in its to show up not so abruptly. It will slow a little bit before placing the, the object in the scene. So if you now play, so you see it decided to add some elements randomly showing up first. So you could create something like this, but since we have all the elements separately, we want to have more control. And so we're going to do this one by one. So just click here, delete phase animation. So, okay, on the bottom here. So now we have this from scratch again, and I'm just going to hide the elements. As I said previously, it's important so we can see what we are doing. And so I have here this uh, floor. And by the way, just a quick tip for you. If you are creating this type of isometric animation, it will be best if you, when you are creating the materials, you increase their scale so it's easier to see from this distance. It will not be so realistic because the scale is a little bit off, but it will look better in the overall of the scene because now you can see what the material is about. If it was really to the correct scale, you'll see a lot of repetition and it will be just too small. So first let's cl click edit here and let's select this. You see it turns the lines green and you see this check mark here. And so I'm going to click save changes. So now if I play, I can see that it's popping in from the ground. And this is not the type of animation I want. The type of animation I want, it's the ground rise. So this ground rise, it was too fast. We can move the distance more to the left because if it's all the way to the right, it will make the distance like it's very far away. And if you have a short duration here, it will just make it really fast showing up. So we kind of lose the effect here. So I'm going to make this shorter and the duration can be increased a little bit. I'm going to make is in and let's play. So it's a little bit better, but maybe if we reduce to one, maybe two. Okay, it can be something like this, shows up. Maybe it can be even the duration, it's okay. But we can make the start time a little bit further. So it will start just after one second the animation starts playing, just after one second it will show up. So let's see. So maybe one second is too much, maybe half second, let's see. See, you need to play around with these settings and see what it feels best for you. So I'm going to leave this with the duration as one second. Okay, now that we have this animation, we move on to the next one. But before we do that, we need to name things. So here you can double click here and let's call this uh, basic floor. Okay, so we know in the timeline which one is which. And now for the next one, we click add phasing animation. So this Phasing animation now, we're going to click here to unhide this wall and we're going to click this and we need to have this first wall and I'm going to make it pop up with the window as well. And actually, if you select here, click here, select all categories, you'll be able to select here this slide that I have as well. So it will show up with the wall and with the window and this one here on top. These other two lights are for the lamp that are next to the bed. So we will do that later. And we press here, OK. And you can see that this wall is popping in, which we don't want. We want the, the wall to be from the ground as well. So we'll cl click here and select the ground rise. And so it will rise from the ground. And so we want to show up just after this first one shows up. So what I'm going to do here first I'm going to press save changes and I'm just going to move this wall to the layer one. So it's easier for us to see. So I can hide now the second layer and everything else. Okay. So now it's easier for us to see this animation. So just after, so it means that probably 
here it ends so right here i want the start time to be around here the animation and the duration probably a little bit more this one the move distance can be a little bit lower like nine and the ease into the maximum so let's see so we need to move further so so this one just finished and when it just finished this one will start so let's see just the duration it's not uh, the ideal so let's remove this a little bit lower maybe like this yeah like this is fine don't worry about these slides because they will be for the final again you can see that these materials are with a higher scale value now I'm going to speed up this part of the video because this wall paint and this wood panel will have the exact same animation, the same ground rise animation as the previous wall. And now we need this uh, curtain and uh, the wall panel. Now click add phasing animation. Let's go to select other elements. So the, the green wall and the curtain. Okay. And let's see which type of animation. First, we can start time a little bit after the, the wood panel, the duration as well. Then we can stagger here because this way it will automatically randomize which elements it will show up first since we selected two elements here and the is in. And so we have the pop in right now. So let's see. So it's just popping in that, that one. Let's see the implode, how it will look. For this not so much sky drop maybe so maybe we can try a sky drop here so it's a little bit different because we have been just using the ground rise i want this to show up just after this is uh, almost finishing so let's just start time uh, about here and the duration let's shorten the duration okay perfect so now we have the basic wall and this is the basic wall that I just gave you the link in the description so you can download. And now I encourage you to use your own design options with your, your own furniture. You can even turn this instead of a bedroom into a living room, for example. And when you do and create your animations, you can tag me on Instagram. You can see here on the screen my Instagram. And if you do tag me, I'll publish the best ones in my stories. And by the way, before we move to furniture, there is one very important thing that I completely forgot to animate which is one of the most important ones here in this type of animation. It's the, the floor, the wood boards. So I'm just going to make this uh, disappear. And uh, now we have this floor here. So let's use this animation that I just created and let's call it uh, wood floor. And this is actually great because we want to invert the order of animation so now that we have this as the last one, what we can do is create this here, create the click on this icon. It says move phasing animation up. So we click and now if we scroll up, we can see now that the other phasing elements here in the timeline. And so we want the basic floor and basic uh, wall, wall paint, and then maybe the wood floor before the wood panel. We will do this by going here to the objects and if you notice, there is one button here that says stagger in order of selection. What this means is that it will animate each object by the selection. So if I select this one first and then this one and then this one and then this one and so on, it will animate this by this order. So let's do that. So select this one, this one, this one, this one. And then click here. OK, now let's save this and uh, and now you can see that it's basically doing nothing because we need to create the animation. So first of all, let's make the start time about here. Put start, put is in, duration, and maybe sky drop. And now with this sky drop, if I play the animation, you see that the floor keeps showing just as one and we don't want this. So we need to go here and stagger, increase all the way up. And so if you increase all the way, you can see that now we have each board animating separately. And so if we play this. Of 
course, you can always increase or decrease the duration according to what you feel that fits best for your project. Now, if you scroll down, you can see the other phasing effect we already have. And now we can move to the furniture now that we have this wood floor. So I'm just going to hide these objects here and add a new phasing animation. And for this one, we're going to select now the vase, these two vases, and maybe this chair as well. And we're going to click stagger in order of selection as well. And now we need to show up after this. So, well, actually we need to make this one a little bit move forward as well. So it will show up just after this one. Okay, that's perfect. And uh, so now these elements, let's see, we need to animate them after the curtains show up. Okay, so this one. And maybe like this. And you see that this now is pop in. We could use the pop in or maybe the implode if you want the elements to come like this from outside of the, of the frame. You can use as well the sky drop here. Or I think this one, the pop in effect, it's nice. You can use the ease in to the maximum and the stagger. So it shows up one by one. So I just think it should show up after that green wall that's already in place. So let's just move this. Okay. So I give it a little bit more space to breathe. Yep. This is perfect. And before I move on to the next one, I just want to remind you that I do have a free Illumion training that you can sign up for. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and also in the description below this video. So moving on now to the next one, add a new phasing animation and click here objects. And let's add this uh, bed now and maybe the carpet. Well, actually let's deselect both. Let's select first the carpet because I want the carpet to show up first, then the bed. And then maybe these two lamps here. Okay. Just press save changes. I forgot to click stagger in order of selection. Okay. And now we can move all the way like this. Maybe here we'll put the implode. So it's a different, different effect is in and the stagger all the way to the maximum and move distance maybe to come further away from the scene and let's see so all the shows up and just after this shows up this one actually the duration will be longer so actually i don't really like the implode on the carpet here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to deselect this carpet press ok and i'm going to the plants here and i'm going to add it to this to this one so, so it's animating after this chair and just after this, it will come the bed. So let's make it about here. Let's see. Yep. Okay. This is much better. I'm going to fast forward this part because I'm going to use the exact same animation I used in the green wall and curtain. It will be a sky drop animation. So you can just select all the books and apply the exact same settings to this phasing animation. Okay. And as a final touch, we need to add these uh, lights here to the, to the animation showing up. So well, first let's just put these books and that one last phasing animation, move it all the way and edit. We can click here the category lights. So let's select these both lights here. And now here we just want the effect pop in and the duration it's okay like this so basically just after these lamps and the books show up it will turn on the light so let's see make it uh, so we need to move can actually move it like this just holding with the left click so last book and turns on. I think we have all the animation set up, but let's render this out and add some sounds and see how it looks.
hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you'd like to know more how to create realistic interior renders in Lumion, you can follow this link here and let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make more tutorials like this one exploring the capabilities of this uh, Lumion phasing tool or if you want me to make a new tutorial for this type of isometric scene. And I'll see you in the next one.